come in to speak in opposition to uh, item 127. Um, <clears throat> if I'm correct, that's uh, to give $300,000 to the police right after the Black Lives Matter uprisings for them to have ballistic car shields, 120 ballistic car shields. And in the project summary, they're claiming all these national statistics about how it's dangerous for police and police are getting assaulted. We don't have that issue in Richmond. So I'm wondering how it is that they are able to present this as gun violence prevention initiatives to the attorney general and then for you guys to approve $300,000 so that they can shoot at us from their vehicles while we are peacefully protesting. I don't understand why they would need ballistic car shields. You know, the community is suffering from gun violence and let's not forget that the police are also perpetrators of gun violence. So what you are really doing, if you approve this, is you are incentivizing and enabling the you police to seconds. shoot at us. You are, you are increasing gun violence. So I would like to know if, who from the administration is going to sit here and give us the case for how this is preventing gun violence in our communities. 300, I know it's free money out here. I know it's free money. But I think that there's other departments maybe that have actual officers being assaulted. There's not one officer being assaulted in the data that's being presented. There's no MOU that's attached to it. None of the documents from the attorney general is uh, inside of the ordinance. Thank we don't know you. what's going on that's there. That's your time. $2,300 per shield. Thank you. That's your time. And please state your name. Black for the Lives Matter. 